Hello, welcome to the next episode from the Elko Lab. Today we introduce our level switches of the HRH series. We provide a comprehensive range of level switches for various applications of liquid level monitoring. We will introduce them from the simplest ones to special models, accessories included. And at the end, we will show you a practice example of use. A common feature for all devices is the measuring frequency of 10 Hertz, which prevents polarization of liquid and rising oxidation of the measuring probe. HRH5 is the basic level switch with the function pump up, pump down, adjustable from the front panel. There are also two more setting potentiometers. One for probe sensitivity setting in a range of 5 to 100 kilo ohms, and the second for time delay setting in a range of 0.5 to 10 seconds for elimination of waves on the surface. One output relay has an SPDT changeover contact 8 amps. It features a galvanically separated power supply from the measuring inputs in multi-voltage range of AC-DC 24 to 240 volts. HRH7 has identical functions as the previous HRH5, but is designed in an enclosure with IP65 protection. HRH8 has eight functions thanks to two independent output relays and function selector on the front panel. The key advantage is the possibility to have two separate one-level monitoring in two tanks. The galvanically separated power supply from monitoring inputs comes in four options, AC-DC 24 volt and AC 110, 230, and 400 volts. Other parameters are identical with the HRH5. This features the following functions. HRH6 monitors five levels by using six probes, five for liquid levels, and one is common for all. Levels are indicated on the front panel of the device. There are two power supply options, AC 230 volt, HRH6 AC, and DC 12 to 24 volt, HRH6 DC. The DC option is intended for monitoring levels in truck tanks. One relay with SPSD 10 amp contact is for signaling a full or empty tank. Also available is the Auxiliary Signalization Panel, HRH6S. HRH9 is similar to HRH6. It has control of six liquid levels, but also each level has a dedicated relay for switching pump or auxiliary signalization. Automatic probe calibration is performed by pressing a button on the front panel. There are possibilities to set an independent delay function, master on or off, for each liquid level probe. The LED indicated liquid level is on the front cover of the device. The last three liquid probes have possibilities of manually setting sensitivity to account, for example, for foam on liquid. The auxiliary signalization panel, HRH6, is compatible. The galvanically separated power supply from the measuring inputs is in a multi-voltage range of AC-DC 24 to 240 volts. We provide enclosure kits with IP65 protection and accessories, cable glands, probes, and contactors. Therefore, we can meet your requirements as needed. HRH pre-wired kits. There are two options of pre-wired kits. HRH4, which contains a level switch, HRH5, and contactor in an IP65 protection enclosure with cable glands. HRH MS VS4A, which contains level switch, HRH5, contactor, and motor starter in an IP55 protection enclosure with cable glands. Let me show you level switch accessories. Probes, SHR1M brass and SHR1N stainless steel probes. Electrodes with a diameter of four millimeters in a plastic cover are suitable for drinking water. The wire has a maximum profile of 2.5 millimeters squared. SHR2, this is a stainless steel electrode in a plastic cover with gland PG7. SHR3 is an industrial electrode made from stainless steel with screw thread M18 with three meter long cable. 
it is suitable for direct installation into a closed tank with pressure up to 4 MPa and operating temperature from 25 to 60 degrees Celsius. We also offer another accessory, a probe wire with 1 by 0.75 mm squared conductor or a cable with 3 by 0.75 mm squared conductors with certification for drinking water. Now you can see how we control the minimum and maximum level of the water in an aquarium. The liquid must be regularly pumped out to prevent the level from overflowing. At the same time, the pump must be protected against no water being present because of idle running. Therefore, we monitor two levels together. Thank you for your attention, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.